guest tonight is an uh, actress, author, singer, podcaster, Disney princess, and a force of good throughout the world. Her new movie, The People We Hate at the Wedding, is on Amazon Prime Video now. Please welcome Kristen Bell. <laughs> It's Thank very you. stylish. You can borrow it. Uh, I think, well, wouldn't that be funny, actually? <laughs> if you borrowed it? Um, very good to see you. You too. You, uh, how's your, your husband, for those who don't know, I think most people know, is Dax Shepard, who's uh, an actor as well, and director, writer, and podcaster. A, and a great husband. And a great, and from what I've been able to, to gather, a great, seems to be a great husband and a great father, I would add as I well. I do like him quite a bit, yes. I mean, like a really good father. Yeah. Like the kind of father that makes my, me say to my dad, like, hey, what happened? <laughs> he, yes, he's very, he has committed to being very involved in our kids' lives and very involved in our marriage, and he's a real go-getter. Yeah, I got is. no complaints. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of, you know, yeah, he talks to the kids in a serious way, which I think is impressive. Yeah. He's very honest with our children about everything. Yeah, he is honest about everything. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want to say that because I figured I'd let you say that. But everything is just out on the table, right? Very, very honest. In fact, it, one, it backfired a couple weeks ago because um, my mom came in town, who is more conservative than I am, and we have been really, really honest with our kids. And I have never really done any drugs, and I wanted to try mushrooms for my 40th birthday, so my husband had gotten them for me, and I tried it. This was a couple years ago, and we told our kids about it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, and um, then I, I overheard my daughter talking to my mom, to grandma, going, I'm actually really glad they share all this stuff with me. So anyway, mom really wanted to try mushrooms. <laughs> so, and I just walked by, and I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> For some reason, I'm more worried about telling my mom that than my daughter. Are you sure that they know what that means? Because, may, like, if a pizza shows up with mushrooms no, on it... No, they fully know, because they their dad is in recovery, so he's really honest about, like, what alcohol does to your body, how it makes you feel funny and impairs things, and what drugs do to your body, and why most drugs are illegal, all that. Yeah, I know, it's all crazy. All that stuff. It's crazy. So, uh, are you guys ready for Thanksgiving, speaking of drugs? Oh, very, <laughs> very. <laughs> Tryptophan, I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, but I have a secret to Thanksgiving that we've been hosting it for four or five years. And I, the first year I hosted, I cooked, and it was miserable. You did everything? Yeah, oh. and I mean, there was a lot of help, but I just thought, what on earth am I trying to prove? So I ordered food the next year. Game changer. <laughs> Thanksgiving I've ever had. You order traditional food sure. or are you ordering you like I'll just pretend that I cooked it. You did. You do. Yeah. I mean Why I'm not? honest if people ask, but if they don't ask. <laughs> yeah. It's it a was don't delicious. ask. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, get the whole spread and then you're supporting like your local restaurants. Sure. And, and so I'm a big fan of that. And my family's a big fan because I I have a ten I have had a tendency to burn things in the kitchen. I oh. do love cooking. When you say burn things, do you mean like just burning the food or no, it's fire? No, fire, fire, fire. Oh, fires, fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So things are the kitchen. I suppose both, because the food does come out very It goes burnt. along with it. I'm actually not allowed to use the broiler in our home. Really? And that was like a collective decision from all three of them. Oh, really? Because I, I love garlic bread. Who doesn't, okay. right? Okay, yeah, I'm a pulse, sure. So it's delicious. So I, every single time I put the garlic bread in, I walk away. I got other stuff to do. Uh -huh. And I forget that the broiler's on and it's just like <laughs> open, it's like boom, flames and everything's black. I mean, the other, the, two days ago, I set the garbage can on fire. How did you set the garbage can on fire? Oh, <laughs> I was home by myself. I had lit a candle, went upstairs, reading, typing on my computer, and I hear Dax come in the door screaming, honey, what's going on? And I was like, oh my God. Ran downstairs, he's like, how'd you set the trash can on fire? Apparently, I didn't wiggle it under the water before I put it in the trash can. Oh, the match? Yeah. Oh. I didn't throw the lit candle in the trash can. I just didn't wiggle it under the water. So then it was very smoky. Yeah. There weren't flames, but wow, again. Wow, isn't that interesting? It's so hard to light things. Like, if you were to try <laughs> to light your logs in the fireplace, it takes like 40 minutes Not to get for them me, going. Man. 
But boy, you're, yeah, you're oh, like yeah. Drew Barrymore in a Stephen I'll, King movie. I'll yeah. get it done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, that's not good, by the way. No, that, it's not great. Yeah. But look, that's why I'm I'm hosting. We're hosting like 24 people, and so I just figured I'd order. Hosting, not roasting. It. That's your philosophy. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Well, listen, that whatever you have to do, that's the way it goes. And everybody's fine with it, right? Everybody's great. Well, yeah, it's like it's more of a Friendsgiving because we're not actually doing it with family this year. It's mostly friends. Because so. your family is huge on your like growing up family, right? Oh, how many baby. people? How many what are we talking we about? Are Aunts, like uncles? Rabbits. My dad is one of twelve. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, Catholic rabbits. Dad's one of twelve. My dad is one of twelve, and each of the twelve had minimally three kids, some had five or six. And I think the, the the tally of first cousins, like last I remembered, it was like 37 or 38. And then with them having kids, I mean, we're well into the 60s now. There's so many cousins. Do you know all of your first cousins? I do. You do. You know them all by name? I do, yeah. 38's a lot of I'm people. not gonna do it right now. No, but no. I'm not gonna name them all right now, but I know, obviously I know them. And you keep in touch with your aunts and uncles and Most all of, them, of yeah. these people? Yeah. That's crazy. It's a big old family. Yeah, it's a very, where do they live? Are they still in Michigan? We grew up in Ohio. Uh -huh. I grew up in Michigan, but most of the family's in Ohio and they've slowly sort of spread. The Bells have really been taking over for a while. So a lot of them are actually in Vegas now. My dad lives in Vegas. A couple of my aunts and uncles live in Vegas. Oh, wow. That's where there. my Aunt Chippy lives. You yeah. got, we got to get the relatives together. We got to get them together. Oh, they're dealers. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, where do they work? Can they're you say? Now, um, they pop around a lot, so I don't know exactly what casinos they're at now. My uncle Bobby was uh, a dealer <laughs> for a long time, and now he's a pit boss, but he's such a goofball that he used to, when he was dealing craps, there was this guy he used to tell us about that would come in like five days a week and they all knew him and he got to become chummy with this guy. They were friendly. And then they would have this bit that at the crabs table, the guy, oh, I should have led with this. He only had one arm. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, so it's a very necessary detail. seems like detail. a key point. It's yeah. a big, big part of the story. <laughs> so the guy has one arm. They become really friendly, and they create this bit that when my Uncle Bobby is dealing craps, the guy will roll the die, and he, he, doesn't, he just has a sleeve here, and my Uncle Bobby will slap that um, stick down and go, hey, hey, one hand on the die. And then the whole table just like gets really, really nervous, and then the two of those guys erupt with laughter. <laughs> oh Funny thing we used to do. Shenanigans. <laughs> Vegas shenanigans. I like the sound of Uncle Bobby. We're, we're going to take a break, and uh, when we come back, we'll see a little bit from the new movie. Kristen Bell is in a movie called The People We Hate at the Wedding, which is on Amazon Prime. I'll be right back. Have you seen this invitation? I, I am five minutes away from homiciding someone. I can't stand her. I know, I know. I opened mine this morning, and then I just put it down on my kitchen table. I poured kerosene everywhere, and then I just literally burned my own house down. I mean, the invites are gorgeous, but... I'm not kidding. I think she spent, like, $25,000. And they smell like rosemary. I am moving to space. Okay, I'm screaming and I am dead. I died of screaming. That is Kristen Bell and Ben Platt in The People We Hate at the Wedding, which is on Amazon Prime. Ben Platt play, plays. Ben Platt plays your brother. It's a bit of a tongue twister, but uh, true. Which is my dream come true. Is it? Yeah. Oh, big time. I'm like the number one Ben Platt fan in the world. I consume everything he's a part of. Did you know going into it that he would be your brother in the movie? Of or course. You did? Okay. Right. In fact, the last time I saw him in concert, I went with Jill, your old producer. We, oh, yeah? Yeah. We went together. Oh, yes. Jill loves Oh, uh, we ben love Platt. some yeah. Ben Platt. And he's yeah. terrific in the movie. The movie is so... Like, I really wanted to be a part... I read the script during COVID. I wanted to be a part of something that... Was ju would just be entertaining and lighthearted and that people could watch together and kind of let us be the dysfunction. Like, I wanted people to watch it and just go like, oh my God, we're not so bad. These people are crazy. Because <laughs> it's about a highly dysfunctional family that kind of has to reckon with their own vulnerabilities and come back together. Allison Janney is your mom heavy. in the... In the did heavy. you develop a... a no, but, uh, you didn't develop like a motherly relationship with her, No, right? she's a very bad influence if she was yeah, having a mother. Yeah, if she's a mother, yeah. She's so spunky. Yeah, she's, she's so fun, right? So fun, and I think that's... I figured out why she's so like charismatic on screen and in person, because she really is. I think she's so playful. It's the playfulness that yeah. makes her spunk, or She's the a... spunk that makes her playful. We don't know, really, which came first. We should find out. <laughs> She's a goofball. I loved it. I loved this movie You, so um, You are spunky, too, and playful as well, because I will tell you, you got everybody to, you, we, we had a vacation in Idaho. You drove your 
big bus. It's not even an RV. It's big a bus. Big brown, baby. Big brown. Yep. Now, let me just show a picture in case you don't, aren't familiar with um, the Bell Shepherd family bus, which is called Big Brown. This is... You can't get... You it's don't get a, a sense of what of a giant bus this is. But do you see what has happened on the back what, since you last us. saw it. What has, this is the Waylon Jennings logo. You got, who did that? Who so, put the Waylon Jennings logo on I'm the I'm gonna bus? give you two guesses <laughs> between me and Dax. So what happened was we came to see you in Idaho, which is our favorite trip of the year. Uh -huh. And um, then we went to North Dakota and South Dakota and had a big family road trip for like a month. And by the time we had gotten home, we had broken everything in the bus. I mean, like I had broken almost every single cupboard off its hinges. It was just a mess. These vehicles are garbage. They break, break, it's break. It's unbelievable. Buy one. Do, no matter how tempting it may Don't be. Don't do it. Do not buy no. one of these things. So um, Dax actually then drove it down to Texas, which where the, it's a four travel To bus, have it repaired, To have right? it basically everything repaired. Yeah, they were right. like, who's been living in here? A bunch of chimpanzees. And while he was down there, he was like, hey, hey, you guys mind painting the Waylon Jennings logo on the back? So he came back and surprised <laughs> us with that. He drove it back like two weeks ago, and I was like, "What is that on the back?" Well, Waylon, Jen Waylon Jennings died like what, like 15 years ago? Yeah, or something? 2002. Okay, 20 yep. years ago. But so people might not. You know, I mean, they might be pulling up looking for his ghost. Sure, he's back on tour, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he would be flattered by that. But what I was going to say about you is, you got everybody. The Snake River is in Idaho. And it's cold, you know? Yeah. And you got everybody to jump into it. Well, e everybody except for everybody? me. Everybody? <laughs> yeah, everybody except well, me. Well, because we, cold plunging is so good for you. And it feels so good. And you feel great the rest of the day. Because really, it's like purposeful suffering. And then you have like five hours of like a really good mood. Do you think so, though? I mean, like they say it's good for you. I've seen no actual evidence to support that. And also, isn't there... Uh, wouldn't you go along the idea that anything that is unpleasant, you feel good when it's over? Okay, like, yes. Like, if I were to take a hammer to my toe or something like that, I'd be like, oh, yeah. oh okay. And you're so grateful that it's over. Yeah, when Same it's... concept. <laughs> Except that it's actually scientifically proven. Like, your body wants to get back to homeostasis. And so if you, like, do all the fun things that we love to do, like you have a drink at dinner or something, you'll spend the next day being groggy because your body's, like, like neutralizing you. But if you purposely suffer and you get into a cold plunge, you'll have, like, five hours of, like, a norepinephrine boost and a dopamine boost and all that. So I got... Everybody from that trip, like all 25 of us in there, except you. Yeah, except for me. I didn't want to go in. It's cold. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you another thing <laughs> that bothered me is that my wife makes me heat the pool to an unreasonable temperature at home. Okay. Like 90 degrees or something like that. Okay. And now all of a sudden she's leaping into the Snake River. She was a baller. She was one of the first ones Yeah, well, in. I like a little balling at home. Okay. Um <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what we listen to the whole way home. Oh, I do know, yeah. You do. Yeah. You're, um, you made a mixtape. I did. Which is very sweet. And I, I just want you to know that I'm not offended that you made literally a middle school mixtape for my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Because I have a profound respect. When you find another adult male that is as obsessed with Al Jarreau as the both of you are, I just want you to know, like, I'm cool with it. I'm, okay, good, I'm good. fine with it. We listened to that Yacht Rock CD the whole way home, and we loved it. Well, I'm delighted to hear that. Yes, I, it did dawn on me that it was a little bit unusual that I was making a tape for her. <laughs> when he put it in, I was like, what is this? He's like, oh, Jimmy, maybe... <laughs> Made me mix. <laughs> Did he get the flowers I sent him? <laughs> no, okay, all right. I'll check in with you after. Well, it's great to see you. Kristen Bell, everybody. The people we ate at the wedding. We'll see you now on Amazon Prime Video. Thank you, Kristen. We'll be back with David Shrigley. Put on